Take a look at the Daily Graphic. <laughs> One of the kidnappers is, is pleading, and he told the court that he be sent to a, a normal um, a prison because of the torture he's going through uh, in, in BNI cells. Um, uh, you see, I get the argument. When the person is a, a, a self-confessed criminal who bought weapons and uh, 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 travel from one country to the other and recruited people, mm. this is the person that would not have thought twice to shoot dead uh, the, 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 the uh, people they kidnapped if uh, they were not having their way, but for the fact that they were arrested. Uh, sometimes I think we take this argument of, uh, uh, what do we call it, uh, uh, constitutional rights, human rights, we take it too far. If somebody is out there killing people and doing things that are not, uh, look, even the almighty United States <laughs> at a point used an orthodox means, um, what they call uh, waterboarding and other methods to exact information, if that is what will let you get to the bottom of it. Because some people are so hardened that it's difficult. In the case of the journalist, you would have to question it. Mm. Because the person is in their line of duty, if they are simply doing their work, and the, you, 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 you arrest them for uh, some reason, even if they were doing cyber fraud or cyber crime, uh, they are also known as journalists. So professionally, you should know that if it came out that you had even dead, uh, 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 handled them physically, it will be a communication nightmare for you and the organization. So that aspect has to be looked at. But where you have uh, criminals trying to take